Hey guys, Popular Boat here, and today we're playing some more Hearts of Iron 4 with Kaiserreich mod. We are getting ready to fight Ecuador. We should probably move our planes up into position. Uh, they're in the Amazonas. It's a bit of a crappy node. Mainly because it's stupidly big. Let's actually fill up this airport with a few more planes. Still don't know how people can spot that. Sounds like pretty clean English for me. No real dialect to detect in that. Yeah, I don't know. hard to say. I certainly don't have the the full swinging twang of an Aussie accent. I'm quite worldly. This is awesome. I always want more at end of 30 minute episodes. See you later Marino. Thanks for dropping by. Yeah, I find... I find people who record straight on 20 minute episodes just really annoying. You always have to like plow through tons of episodes to get very far and it makes it seem like they've done lots of work but it's really not a huge amount of time. We should really get some fleet stuff going. <laughs> One thing I don't like with the Brazilian lines is this they've renamed destroyers to be brown water navy which I can understand thematically because that must be relevant to Brazil, but looking at these and you're like, why do I want brown water navy sub detection? That makes no sense. Um, let's go fleet in being, I think. Ooh, we actually have free sieve factories. Um, Um, we really need to get this infrastructure up to par. Uh, yeah, those new naval dockouts can wait. Ah, uh, there you go. There's been a few times that people have asked, like, oh, are you Canadian? Are you, um, are you from the UK? Are you South African? No. Europe's, oh, Austria's getting beaten back by, well, not really. Italy's holding the mountains, but Austria's pushing through to the heartlands pretty well. Last line of defense. Never gonna get there. Right, we've got political power to burn. Um, Chief of the Navy is probably gonna be a good option. Um, buffs to Marines would be nice, but naval speed and screen attack and defense is probably gonna be better for us at the moment. Just because um, screens are the fastest thing we can spit out. Where even it? there's that navy. Screens are the fastest thing we can spit out, and if they have a lot of defense, then they can actually not just melt away rapidly. And if they have a lot of attack, then they can actually sink some heavier ships. South African would be a new one. I've also been asked if I'm like Scandinavian. I can't remember if it was Finland or maybe Finland. I've had pretty much a world tour of, oh, are you from here? <laughs> Your president looks straight up evil. Yes, he does. I've started playing Tropico 5 again. So much fun. Your face when you realize building infrastructure in your northern provinces is deforesting the Amazon. No, it's not. We're, we're making the rivers into canals. And we're going to use them as lovely, lovely waterways. No deforestation going on here. 
It's about to write, stop chopping the rainforest for your dirty roads. <laughs> Sorry about it. Ooh, our war goal finished and I didn't even notice. Bye bye, Ecuador. You will not be missed. Uh, let's get these planes covering that section. So we have both halves with air support. We can actually move those planes up once we, once we get into that airport too. Um, <laughs> Ecuador did a naval invasion? That's awfully ballsy. Alright, so what we need to do is grab two of our trucks, send them down there, Go nuts. Good job Ecuador though, like, that's, that's impressive. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. After playing tons of um, Tropico, going, every time I went to Nando's it just made me want to play Tropico more because of the, the awesome music they play. Into branch operation and advanced computing machines. I'm gonna get assault breakthrough, and we should probably get anti infantry, anti tank, um, infantry anti tank. One of the three things I said. Um, just have another quick look through. We're starting to catch up on dockyards, so I think we'll grab some heavy cruisers. Um, Dark Ruffian, the, the, you might hear it occasionally, there's a very slight, very occasional thing in my sentences where I go up at the end. That's a bit of an Australian thing, I guess. I think we've talked about this before. Alright, naval invasion squashed. Capital is almost reached. We should probably put our navy out while we fight these people. Just so we can um, actually get some naval experience. Alright, there goes Ecuador. That's a little bit of oil for us. And some dockyards, excellent. Um, let's put those into battle cruisers. Let's get our navy ready to search and destroy next to Venezuela. Um, that's probably fine. These guys need a front. Go for the capital. Head over there. Um, planes are in alright positions. Let's make this line kind of our coast guards. You sent me a video about Aussies phrasing all the sentences as questions, but never really watched whether you did that or not. Yeah, the, the going up at the end is what makes it sound like you're, everything's a question. Alright, we got our extra research slot. Time to crank some of this out. Atlantic Jungle Training, Mountain Infantry 1 and 2, and then we can get a bunch of rubber. Or Naval Experience, Naval Experience. Bonuses to building boats. Um, let's do the naval stuff. We need to get our navy up to scratch so we can actually fight the Entente. Um, it's 43, we should do our industry. Alright, so new troops are going to be our Coast Guards. These guys, let's grab three, four, five, six, chuck them into there. These are going to be our second line. Second advancing line, I mean. Uh, 
Um, our navy does not have access through Panama. Naval base options are all alright, I guess. We should probably burn some of that arming experience soon. We don't have anything to really spend it on, though. Um, like, we're running out of... We're not, we don't have tanks to spend it on to upgrade them. We don't need to change our divisions very often. I should probably have a look at them, actually. Um, more artillery will be a good option. Get them up to combat width 30, which is the combat width I like to use. Um, and our trucks. We need to get um, motorized rocket artillery. Because then we can really start throwing punches. Justification is complete. Columbia is going to be our next goal. They're not being guaranteed. Our army's still getting into position. Please take the train. Same with all you guys. Take, oh, you are taking the train. Excellent. Okay. Let's get this war started. Drop it down to speed 4 so it's not too laggy. Alright, you guys are all still getting in position. That's fine. Push onwards. Those guys are all training. That's fine. This is a weird front because this is one province and that is the second province. So all of our troops kind of stack into one square. So slow to advance. And we're even having issues with supply. Okay, uh, let's bump that one up, because that's going to be part of the problem. Our supply is going through up there as well, so let's do that province. We can't have our divisions getting out of supply, because that is going to cause this problem. Thank god there's nothing like aggressive expansion in this, or at least nothing worth talking, taking that title in South America. Yeah, um... And another advantage in Kaiserreich is people are very reluctant to join factions unless they have the same party ideology. So if I went after... who's that? Oh no, that's Netherlands. They would join up anyway. Thanks for dropping by, Ethan. Have some good sleeps. I really need to reconsider what time I stream. Middle of the night is beginning to be a bit of a problem for people. We're actually short on a lot of equipment. Or are they just taking a ton of attrition? Let's put upgrades first. Because I'd kind of rather people get guns. Those guys are almost finished training. I'd rather people get new guns before we reinforce. Welcome to stream, Carl. How you doing? Carl. Alright. Legacy of someone. Reform and refit ports. A bit more naval experience. Alright. Need to look at our resources again. We need a lot more steel, holy crap. Transomer has capitulated. Let's grab some steel off the UK. Are we producing more convoys? Because we are starting to run out. 
What time is it for me? It is now 1, or not even, approaching 1 p.m. So this is incredibly convenient for me because it's the middle of the day. So I can stream for a handful of hours and then still do stuff. Ooh, we're, you're an hour off, Dark Ruffian. But very close. Alright, Naval Doctrine. Um, we might grab the next level of artillery. Oh, no, industry. Forgot we were working on that. Cap and growth or flexible line retention. I want cap and growth. Actually, I want construction first. Yeah, it's AM for... Oh, no. It's just gone PM. <laughs> yeah, um, Western Australia is uh, GMT plus 8. So not only are we opposite AM, PM, I am also in the future. Alright, these guys are getting into positions, pushing forward very well. Venezuela has very little army, and we are going to be getting a lot of oil. Now, are we justifying? Yes, we are. Excellent. I won't be going after the Caribbean Federation anytime soon, because they're a part of the Entente, and as soon as we declare on them, we're going to have naval invasion after naval invasion after naval invasion. Japan signed a white peace. Wow. They're still at war with um, Russia, though. Unfulfilled import requests. France is not sending us enough stuff. They must be running out of um, convoys. Uh, we got enough political power to get some Air Force things, but I'm not too concerned at the moment. God oh, damn it, was. Yeah, I already read that. Alright, pushing in well. More dockyards. Um. Let's actually get another line of battle cruisers. We need that extra weight behind us. And they take a while to build. Only two a year we're producing. Dispersed fighting. Uh, air support, maybe. Naval doctrine's going to be better for us. How's it in the future? Are there flying cars? Uh, no. No, there are not. Our future tech did give you guys lots of uh, nice things though, like Wi-Fi was an Australian invention. You're welcome. Um, do we want to go off to Panama? Oh, excellent. Our boats are actually engaging. Have I buffed our destroyers? A little. Okay, good. Let's get their engines improved. Uh, produce one more of those, please. Pause so we don't have the game getting all choppy. need that extra steel. Bye bye Venezuela. Taking all your states. Job done. Um, let's reduce that purple line back to there. 
and we'll give the blue line this northern half. Same goal, just take the capital. Let's stop training those guys. Let's reduce how many divisions we're spitting out. Down to four of each. <laughs> did you guys figure out a way to win the Emu Wars? Yes, yes we did. We turned to Guerrilla Warfare where um, we just have people who are licensed to shoot our native wildlife every so often. Because um, we also have issues with all the kangaroos. But um, I think Australia also has one of the largest camel populations in the world. Like wild camels. Because they got brought over and then they just thrive in the Australian central regions. But yeah, if you haven't, haven't heard about the Emu War, that is definitely worth looking into because that shit's hilarious. Hitwood only had another invasive species like the bullfrogs. Bullfrogs, cane toads, because we call them cane toads over here. I'm pretty sure that's the same thing. But yeah, they're, they're fun to kick around and all that kind of nonsense. Alright, Heavy Cruiser 2. Um, I think we'll start producing some of them. Let's also get landing craft. So we don't have to have pitiful size landing forces. Um, let's go up to very good stability. We haven't had any big drops in political power in a while. And that bonus will be nice. What is the bonus? We go up to 10% instead of 5% factory output. Less consumer factories that frees up more for construction. Oh, Guyana. Gotta go up to 6. Alright, infrastructure everywhere. Uh, we're good on oil. We don't need to be importing that. Great on rubber, great on tungsten, need more steel, need more aluminium, need more chromium. Let's bump that up to two lots. Let's get more... S Whoa, we don't need that much. Uh, Austria, give us some aluminium. So we need to get into here and into here. Actually... They still only have nine boats. Let's go after the American Union state. That'll only take 45 days. Wow, okay. Yep, let's do it. We're going to justify on them. We're going to crush... How long until that's ready, actually? July. Alright, so we got two weeks until Colombia is ready to be fought. And then... Pff, not that much more. Like, six weeks until we'll be landing in the American Union states. Our navy is starting to come up to speed. But, it is time for me to put a break in here. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series so far. I'm having a lot of fun playing as um, Brazil. It's a bit of a... leapfrog of collecting resources to be able to take on the larger people. The Entente is going to be a challenge. Um... But yeah, thanks for watching, check out the links below the video, tell me what you're thinking of the series so far, and I will see you guys in the next episode.